Hey everybody, Brandcoin here for another episode of Brandcoin Mining. And today I'm so excited to be back with you guys. And today we're going to be talking about my uh, AMD RX 6800. Uh, and this I have the MSI Gaming X uh, version of it. And we're going to ch be checking out what this gets on Ethereum, what kind of hash rate it gets, what kind of power it consumes, and should this card be considered a mining card a lot of people don't think so but uh, we're going to be investigating it today so without any further ado guys let's take a look so here we have the amd radeon rx 6800 and i'm going to be reinstalling it into my uh, pc and then i'll be listing all of the overclock settings in the description below <laughs> Follow white rabbit I'm taking potions, call me Alice Watch me grow taller Yeah, rabbit's watch is in his pocket Yeah, he stays late Bye. So here we go, we're gonna open MSI Afterburner and we're going to open Team Red Miner. That's the miner we're going to use to mining Ethereum today. And we're going to start our Ethereum miner. And this is using stock settings on the RX 6800. We'll see what results we get. So it's finished the DAG in 2.656 seconds here pretty fast DAG creation and right now we're only uh, starting out mining but we are at a very reasonable 55 degrees Celsius we'll see if that can hold here and right out of the bat we are getting 46 mega hash and I believe uh, there's quite a bit to go to ramp up here And we'll just wait and see what the results are in a moment. Aha, so as we can see here, we are getting about 58.23 mega hash now. And that's using just the stock settings. And uh, I've set up an overclock profile here. So in the overclock profile, I've left the power limit at zero. I've changed the core clock. I've reduced it from 2287 to 1300. So I've basically taken the core clock all the way down and I've taken the memory clock all the way up. So I've taken it from 1988 right now or 90 to about 2150 megahertz and I've left actually the fan speed as is because it's still here a reasonable 50 degrees Celsius so let's apply that and let's see what changes uh, we get in mega hash so we were at 58.34 mega hash before and now let's wait and see uh, what changes happened here Still a nice cool 55 degrees Celsius. Oh, our mega hash are going up and now we're at 61.71. So we've already got a few mega hash uh, just after changing some of the settings on the card here. So actually I think it will ramp up a little bit more um, we're just going to wait here and see uh, what mega hash we can get. Ah, now that's nice. That's a 62.32 mega hash. So that's, that's more like what I was getting with my overclock settings. And uh, basically we're still at the 55 degrees 
approximately Celsius in this uh, area here. It's not very hot uh, in my office here, but uh, I mean, that's a really cool temperature for a GPU that's mining. It's actually incredible. So yeah, it's sticking around the 62.34 mega hash uh, range. And, and now let's take a look at power consumption. So I've got a little power meter hooked up here and this will show us how many watts we're getting on our system. Now uh, this uh, system without uh, mining uh, in an idle state takes about 70 watts and I do have a lot of lights on it. Uh, that's why here, I mean, definitely, uh, we've definitely got some lights going in here lights everywhere so I mean we do suck quite a bit of power out um, but uh, I don't mind I like the lights and uh, so yeah it consumes about 70 to 100 watts therefore the graphics card is uh, consuming about 186 watts in uh, stock mode and now let's check out uh, when I change the uh, overclock what how many watts we're getting so now we're taking a look at the screen again and we are on the stock mode so we are only getting 58.36 mega hash and let's change to our overclock profile and now our mega hash are going to start going up again and our power consumption is going to go down so let's check out uh, what we just did to our power consumption now we have just dropped our power consumption from about 280 watts for the total system to only about 234 watts. So I mean before the graphics card was consuming about 180 watts and now it's only taking about 134 watts. So I mean that's an incredible reduction here. And let's check out we are also have improved and are now getting about 62.34 mega hash instead of the 58 mega hash we are getting. So I mean, you absolutely have to overclock uh, your card here. Uh, otherwise, you're definitely not using it efficiently for mining. So in my opinion, the AMD RX 6800 is an excellent mining card and is basically equivalent to uh, our RTX 3060 Ti or an RTX 3070, uh, at least in terms of Ethereum mining. And uh, I mean, apparently uh, NVIDIA miners are better for other algorithms, algorithms but it depends on, upon the algorithm. So, I mean, I, I love this card and I think is actually an excellent mining card, uh, even though some people don't think so. Thanks for watching Brandcoin today, everyone, and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell, and we'll see you all soon in the next episode.